They say life comes in seasons, some filled with sunshine, others with storms, but I am learning to celebrate every season, rain and shine, just like this week. It was a mix of beauty, chaos, and a lot of celebration because- Happy birthday! Thank you, thank you. Tropical storm, Helene, expected to intensify as it moves into the Gulf today, then it sets its sight on North Georgia. The entire state of Georgia, now under that state of emergency this morning. Even though I knew that the storm was coming, just like I have decided in my life right now, I'm still going to show up for every moment because storms are guaranteed in life, but they don't have to cancel our joy or allow it to change our perspective in the middle of the storm it's easy to get caught up in the waves and the wind and the rain that we forget who created the waves the wind and the rain he is always in control and he knows exactly what we can bear he created us for a time just like this i don't think there's another unique what you think? I doubt it too. in my experience when i'm walking through difficult seasons if i keep showing up god will send people opportunities events like this hootie beauty one to remind me you're on the right path and i got you girl but you have to show up in order to get the message you can't Good one. That's crazy. Yeah. That is oh actually insane. Oh my gosh. Yeah, nice and I'm still like, I'm gonna yeah. come to oil on this yet and gonna blur any texture. Hello, I turned 35 tomorrow. How y'all doing today? I'm good today, but my birthday tomorrow. Guess what, Lala? I know, your birthday tomorrow. No, my birthday tomorrow. I almost didn't come to this event with the weather and everything that was going on this week. It just was like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to force it. But something in my spirit was urging me to go. So I, I accepted this RSVP literally last minute. And I'm so happy that I did because the way that God used this event to pour into me, not only was it an amazing experience because I've never done anything like this before, but to have my sisters just be like, girl, we see you and you're doing amazing and I love your content. And you know, this is how you're impacting me and then of course me being able to pour into them because I love them just the same there is nothing that beats having that type of support from your peers and it reminded me that even in the storm there is favor sometimes the storm is the favor we just can't see it yet because we think that favor is only open doors and green lights but favor is also preparation for your next level if you want to go into elevation you need to know how to handle what is at that new level. Favor is also going to prepare you so that you can handle everything that is to come in the new season. Not me. It's my, it's prepared. A whole makeup kit. Honey, I need a Every brush. brush you can think of. That's not true. I brought two extra brushes. Everything, a whole face. Two extra brushes. Some blood. <laughs> <laughs> God was reminding me of different storms that I've been through that were so hard when I was walking in the middle of it that I never saw favor and how he was using that storm to bless me with something else. Like one time I had this neighbor who, oh my gosh, it was the worst neighbor I have ever encountered. We had just sold our house. We had just moved into our first apartment in Buckhead. Um, my kids were small. This was the first time they were living in apartments. <laughs> I'm not going to say that my kids were quiet. Like, no, they definitely moved around and stuff, but she was the worst. And it wasn't that she was just like irritating us by like hitting the ceiling with her broomstick, which she did, but she did everything in her power to make that experience living hell. And I already feel bad because I've ripped my family up out of this house to put them in an apartment. I had anxiety. I was constantly telling the kids that they had to sit down. Like they almost could not move in the house. We were tiptoeing in this apartment. She was so aggressive. She would come and beat my door down. When she saw me, she would try and be argumentative. This lady like legitimately tried to fight me, y'all. And they would make up stories. <laughs> 
<laughs> in order to cause confrontations. Now, when we decided to move, we went from seven bedrooms to two bedrooms, okay? So it was a huge downsize. And the bigger apartment that we wanted was not available at that time. But, you know, we, we sold our house. We had to move. So we had to move into one of the smaller units because we were trying to stick in a particular school district. So one day I was home with the boys. We had just came in from church. And we had not even been home a good 30 minutes yet when she came storming upstairs. Made She made up a whole story about how we were throwing sunflower seeds on her balcony and was legitimately like cussing through my door, trying to get me to come outside. Because of that experience, our leasing office was just so gracious and they moved us into a larger apartment with this huge balcony that the boys can just run and play. I mean, it was, it almost was like a wraparound porch. And our unit was over the gym and the leasing office and like a hallway. So we didn't even have neighbors underneath us. And they charged us the same rent that we were paying for the small unit. Knowing the end, would you say the storm was worth it? Absolutely. If I had known in the middle of the storm what was coming, I would have faced that storm with way more grace and way less anxiety. Take your eyes off of the waves, the wind, and the rain and keep them on our creator who controls all of the things because in the end, it works out. Right now, Category 1 Hurricane Helene just became a hurricane. It's affecting those tropical form, storm force winds. That will be late Thursday going into Friday. In response to the projected severe weather conditions caused by Hurricane Helene, Superintendent has announced that all schools within the <laughs> will be closed on Thursday, September 26th and Friday, September 27th. Good morning, sis. Today is Thursday, September 26th, and it is my 35th birthday. <laughs> 35 years old. Like the Lord has seen me through to 35 years. My friend actually texted me this morning and asked me, How's it, how does it feel to turn 35? And, you know, I have accomplished so much in, thir in 35 years. And at the other side of that, oh my gosh, I'm 35 and there's things that I thought would have happened or should have happened by now that have not. So it's like, I'm juggling and balancing both of those feelings right now, okay? I'm doing this <laughs> for 35. I don't know if it's because my birthday also comes towards the end of the year and we're transitioning from fall or summer to fall and then going into quarter four and preparing for the holidays and then the new year. But this time of year always feels like a time of reflection. It almost feels like my personal new year. Um, every time I get to my birthday, I always feel the call to sit back, reflect, go over my goals, my dreams, the things that I want to accomplish, but also celebrate how far I've come, where I am right now, and just like celebrate life because it doesn't matter if you're not where you want to be. It doesn't matter if you're not seeing the things that you want to see manifest in life in a tangible way. The very fact that we are still breathing and still here means that he ain't done with us yet, sis. And our steps are still being ordered and aligned. And there is still time for good things to come, for your purpose to be fulfilled. And so I think it is important to take some time. I'm not going to say on your birthday, you know, but because I won't, I don't do this necessarily on the day of my birthday every year, but around my birthday every year, I take some time. I pull out my, my handy dandy notebook journal iPad. <laughs> and I will go through my goals that I set for this year. I'll go through my intentions for 36. With crazy. <laughs> 36. Okay. Um, and I'll spend some time just like really dreaming what life looks like. So earlier this week, I actually went through a couple of prompts um, through chat GPT girl, because if we're going to use AI, we're going to use AI to benefit us. So I'll actually throw those prompts down below in the description box for you too, if you want to go through this exercise. But it, and I did see 
someone do something like this on TikTok where they went through and wrote down their dream lives and like really spend some time in your imagination here. Think about what is it that you want to be doing to make money, to the activities that you want to partake in, um, hobbies, what you want for your kids, what do you, where do you want to go to travel, what organizations do you want to start or be a part of? How do you want to give back to your community? What does your work-life balance look like? What material things do you want to have? What type of relationship with God do you want to have? What type of community do you want to be a part of, like actively a part of? And just writing down all of these things, again, I'll put down a list of questions to help you develop that dream life a little bit more, just to make sure that you're taking care of all of the things. Oh, because how can we forget? What does the healthy version of you look like my dream girl she don't weigh what i weigh right now okay she weigh a good 20 pounds less than what i weigh right now so just thinking about all of those things and then you put it through chat gpt and you ask ai to tell me a story of the day in my dream life as my future self who already has it all based on the description and what chat gpt is going to do is roll out like the perfect or ideal day based on that description. I took it a step further to ask Ch chat GPT based on this dream life that I've envisioned, what actions that align with my goals, my values, and my faith do I need to do daily to achieve it? It spit out a breakdown of eight different areas of life that I need to focus on and what activities I need to do in there. So so what I'm going to spend time doing right now is working on my schedule and my routine to incorporate these things around the responsibilities that I already take care of, anything that's like consistently in my schedule. So, you know, when I have carpool, drop-offs and picks up in the morning, the kids after school activities, my meetings. Um, I just switched to a new management company, praise the Lord almighty. And so now we're going to be doing regular meetings with my new agent. And so just putting those things into my schedule, because for me, y'all know, I talk about this all the time. I am a process person. I need a system around the goals that I want to achieve. And a system means that I need to to figure out not only what I'm doing, but when I'm doing those things. I know this seems like such a interesting way to celebrate one's birthday, but for me, this is a part of self-care. So I'm gonna take some time with me and my handy dandy iPad <laughs> and go through and drop these dream life actions into my daily schedule so that I can start next week, which is going to be the beginning of October or leading into the beginning of October. So that the last three months of this year really helps me kick off January. You don't need to wait until the beginning of the year in order to start fulfilling or going after the goals and the dream life that you desire. Girl, I don't care what happened in January 2024. I don't care what happened in August 2024. You, oh, heck, by the time you see this, it's probably gonna be October. So I don't care what happened in September of 2024. You can start whenever day you're watching this video, you can start today. Jot down those goals, jot down the action steps that you need to take, figure out your schedule and move forward and really lock in the last three months of this, this year. My family surprised me with roses. They're so sweet. And a card. I won't read what everybody wrote because I've already cried. We don't need to cry again. But thank you to my family. We are expecting a hurricane in Atlanta of all places. <laughs> and we have already started to see the rain and the effects of said hurricane before it has even hit us. First, I am praying for all of my Florida folks. By the time this video comes out, the hurricane has already hit and passed through. And I just hope that all of you are safe, that your property is safe. And all my South Georgia people, okay, and my Atlanta people, may we get through this hurricane in safety. Okay, so... That being said, um, I wasn't, I'm not even going to play because I wasn't really planning a lot this birthday. I was really going for chill vibes. I didn't travel this year because y'all know I'm trying to save money to 
prep this land and build this house. So I didn't travel for my birthday this year, which is what I typically do. My main priorities today are to really pour into myself in multiple different ways. So I've already spent time with the Lord this morning. I am going to go to the day spa. I'm getting a massage and a facial. I've been talking about this facial for the last two videos. It's finally here today. So I'm getting a massage and a facial. This facial is happening at the day spa. So it is going to be more of a Think of it like a massage for your face. So it's more like lymphatic drainage, exercise for your face kind of facial. And even before I do that, I gotta go take care of my car. <laughs> Cause I need tires, I need a full set, okay? So we're gonna go spend, uh, spend a little comma money this morning taking care of the tires. It really is a birthday gift. So thank you, Cedric, <laughs> for my tires, okay? I'm off to go figure out my new schedule, organize my makeup supplies, and then get ready to head to the day spa. I'll see you soon, sis. <laughs> quite a few massages and that one was she was very detail oriented i will pop um the information for the day spa that we just left this is the john's creek area i'll also leave the one that i usually go to in buckhead but y'all know that i moved away from buckhead now um so I'll leave that one down below, especially if you're looking for something a little bit more modern. So this one is not modern as far as the decor goes, but baby, that massage, girl, like I said, I've had quite a few massages, but baby, when she got to my butt, I know in camera, I, I might not look that thick, but you know, I'm a little thick. I'm a, little, I'm a little thick and when she got to my butt I said is this low-key BBL allegations <laughs> so she asked me if there was any area that I wanted her to focus on and I just didn't have an answer for her like I just I don't know the question caught me off guard I wasn't prepared and I just could not think of something or an area that was necessarily bothering me enough to be like oh you know like my back my leg you know as she was going through the massage i noticed that there were particular areas that she was spending much more time on and at the end of her spending time on that area i actually felt so much better like i did not even realize the tension that i was holding in that area but clearly she did and you know for them to like get relief out of that area they actually they had a little pressure in it okay to the point where it's like it's uncomfortable for sure but like borderline can i take this any much longer i don't know and every time i would get to that point where it was like mm, i might if she keeps staying here i might have to tell her to stop okay because <laughs> especially in my shoulder at one point sis had her elbow in my shoulder and then every time i thought she was done with the area she would just move position so like if she was back here she would just move to this side of my body and still work on the same area and y'all know i am churchy so i could not help but see the message in it because maybe it's just the life that i'm going through or the life that i'm living right now but it feels like God is working certain things out of me and it's coming from almost every direction, but the area is the same. It takes pressure. It takes being in uncomfortable situations, uncomfortable scenarios. And every time I feel like, okay, God, I got the, I got it. I learned the lesson. Here comes another scenario that's a little bit different or from a different situation. <laughs> And I'm still working on the same mindset shift or the same reaction. And I feel like the call is, even when it's uncomfortable, even when you are feeling so much pressure that you feel like maybe I should tap out here, are you still going to trust him? Are you still going to follow his lead? 
are you still going to believe that this pressure is for a purpose? And instead of tapping out, instead of going back to some sort of idol to lessen this pain or, you know, cope with sin and the flesh, okay? Am I going to trust him enough to stay in it? Because in the end, there is relief. And in the end, it is working out for your good. Like how my body feels right now, it worked out for my good. Can I do that? With, within life itself. Girl, <laughs> if that message was for you, let me know. But right now we are off to, I'm gonna slide through at my med spa because my med spa is only like 14 minutes away from where we just went or the day spa that we just went to. And there's a certain skincare serum treatment that I like to use that I've been out of for a while. It's really good for acne like active acne keeping your skin clear after clearing up active acne it's great for fine line and wrinkles and also hyperpigmentation uh but you can only get it well the formulation that i use i can only get from this particular med spa so since we're in the area i'm gonna slide over there and grab that and y'all know i gotta rebuild my wardrobe for my current body and there's too many things that don't fit me right now. So we're gonna do just a teensy bit of shopping before we continue with the birthday plans, which I mean, it's me. Shopping is a birthday plan. You don't know my name. So evening i just woke up from a nap because what i'm learning most about this 35 year old body is to listen to it okay about to go hang out with my cousins to celebrate my birthday with some of my cousins but sister i've been running the back and forth all day with the boys and carter's not feeling really very well so i needed i needed to take a nap but just back in my early 20s I probably would have just pushed it and just like kept it moving. But y'all, we learn in balance, right? Like, and both things are important to me, not running my body ragged and still going to go celebrate and hang out with my cousins. So I had to find, strike a balance with both. So what I did was I let them know I was tired. I didn't want to cancel on my cousins because I know, you know, they moved around their schedules in order to be here, be available to celebrate me. So I just had them push that thing back an hour so I can squeeze in a nap, girl. We're not doing anything intense. We're actually having like a wine and game night at my cousin's house who, my cousin who just got married. We're gonna go. This is gonna be her first hosting of the cousins shing dig. Cause usually that's my role, but baby, where am I right now? Look who we spy. <laughs> no, look at all of us. We match. Thank you, thank you. We're out. We're outside. We're outside. We're outside. <laughs> Wait till you see where we're going. <laughs> and also, also this, but I'm just getting this tonight. And wine. Do you yeah, have the goods? Oh my god. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Let me okay. transform her real quick. Oh, yeah, boy. That's not real wine, but it's fine. Look. <laughs> How many percentages is it? Mm. Eight. Eight it's juice. The I am blue, not. Blue, like I'm, the red. <laughs> because red wine is wine. This white wine is one. juice. It's still here. Story time. Because I never share this online. But I put these balloons up <laughs> the day of their wedding. 
and it's still here. They sur they've survived. That is so cute. Cause listen, when you have the breath of life yeah. living within you, Hallelujah. it gives life <laughs> everlasting. <laughs> Okay, what y'all wanna play? Taboo, blend in, or Uno Talk have no me. mercy. Oh yeah, that was called familiar. What did I say? Blend in. So it says, everyone knows the secret except the chameleon, but who is the chameleon? Everybody but the chameleon would know exactly which one it is. Mm -hmm. But you can't be too specific, or you'll let the chameleon know. Mm -hmm. But you can't be too broad, or, you or everybody gonna be like, wait, are you the chameleon? you're the chameleon now. Cause you, wait, hold up, blue water, no, that's not the Avengers. Got She's the chameleon. But if I was really playing, I would say, if he was really playing, you're playing. I would not play. If I put this car down and you not looking at it, you the only one not looking at it, guess who's the chameleon? <laughs> you. <Ooh. laughs> no, I'm scared of you. Has a kid, has a kid. Everybody has got a chance to see. All right. to your car. You're the chameleon again? Unique. Many people are scared of this. What? 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 Oh, Not man. everything on here is a common phobia. Mysterious. Okay. Right. And mine is not vague. Yeah. Out, please. Who do you guys think are, is the chameleon? And y'all can give them a chance to defend themselves. If that's Me? Okay, what well, have you want to defend yourself? I think it's Brianna's. Okay, one for Bri. Bri. I actually think it's unique Two out for... here. Maybe okay, so, Landra, hold out your card. Let me see your card. Oh, she is not the chameleon. It's me! Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, she said, you're putting it on where I'm like, what are you talking about? She told us. No, no, yeah! Is the most you ain't got nothing else to say at this point. I'm like, I'm like, well, I remember I was in like early high school. I, I was like in the, wait for real. in the corner. Ah, wait. Y'all put AC on at your house growing up? Cause we didn't we didn't use AC, so that's why we like the fan. I liked this one. <laughs> Six one guys. Four, four and five. five. Right. I knew that before. <laughs> why are you laughing? Okay, Brianna. And mine is Lady Gaga. Lady what? Gaga, flip <laughs> over your card. As, as we thought. <laughs> I will mute you on social media over my peace. I will walk out of the room over my peace. I'll let you think you won the argument. You win over my peace. So I'm not chasing the peace. I'm chasing what peace, what, what peace is on the other side of. Am I making sense here? So, so, so I, I don't get the peace by pursuing the peace. I get the peace by pursuing the integrity. It, it should show up in my words. How am I managing my words? If my words were a contract, would I sign them? Do I trust me to follow through on what I say? Can people... Can people accuse me of saying something about them? that I won't say to them. My words, it should show up in my relationships. How do I manage people? Do I see them as image bearers of God? Do I see them as the apple of God's eye? Do I see them as his beloved? Do I see them as those who which he gave his life for? Or do I see them as a means to an end? Am I predatory? Am I exploitive? Am I manipulative? Am I shysty? Do I use people? Do I only call them when I need something? Jesus. If everyone in a relationship with me were just like me, what kind of relationship would that relationship be? It, 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 it should show up in my work. This is how I manage my work responsibilities. It is a conviction to carry out what Paul said to believers in Colossae, in Colossians, when he said, whatsoever you do, whether you eat, whether you sleep, whether you drink, do it all to the glory of God. It is, it is a, it is a, it is a behavior that, that rests on the revelation that God uses my work to care for his creation. Integrity requires faith. Because it means that I have to trust, watch this, God with my success 
and trust God with my satisfaction. And our greatest missteps and mistakes are often an attempt to achieve success or achieve satisfaction. Here's what Jeremiah says in Jeremiah 2.13. My people have committed two sins. They have forsaken me, the spring of living water, and they have dug their own cisterns, broken cisterns that cannot hold water. So they're always trying to quench their thirst at the wrong place. So they live in a constant and chronic state of thirstiness. Because there's a thirst we have that only God can quench. I've been attending or watching Change Church since December of 2023. And this season of my life, I feel like every message PD is directly preaching to me. And this Sunday's message was no different. It was so relevant to the overall theme of this video that we've been talking about, which is storms, right? And it felt like this message spoke directly to the challenge, right? Like our challenge is not just surviving the storm. It's actually happening how to wait well during the storm. Because often we make our greatest missteps, child me, it's me, Lord. I make my greatest missteps when things feel uncertain or completely out of my control. Like we start chasing success or satisfaction on our own terms just to feel like we're back in control. But the truth of the matter is, Every time we try to quench our thirst or get out of situations that are uncomfortable with things that we can control, we completely forsake God and the journey that he has for us because the storm is really just an invitation to lean into him not distractions. We ain't, we ain't no better than the Israelites in the wilderness, sis. They turned to golden calves and false gods when things got hard, but we run to temporary comforts. Our golden calf or our false god might look like retail therapy, indulging in food for comfort, social media, comparison, busyness, relationships, people pleasing. <laughs> Things that only leave us emptier, but God was never asking the Israelites for perfection in the wilderness. All he wanted was their hearts, their trust, and their faith. And the same is true for us. While we are waiting in our storms, God is not distant. He's working. But our success, our satisfaction, our peace, our joy, they come from him alone. And the way that we respond to the storm, that's what determines where we end up in life. So don't be like the Israelites, turning to things that can't satisfy us. Stay in the storm with God because he's right there with you. It's in the waiting that he shapes us, strengthens us, and prepares us for the promise. <laughs> Y'all already know what I'm about to say, right? I'm running late. And I feel terrible because I know how much my tardiness affects everyone else and I, I feel horrible because I know they're going, my friends are going out of their way to celebrate me, to put plans together and it is just not cute to be late. So right now I'm running about 20 minutes late, which is a big deal because one, I just hit traffic. <laughs> it's Sunday afternoon and there's traffic on 75. So I just hit traffic um two it's a re it's a reservation and you know they usually do a 15 minute grace period i just talked to maya and ebony we're going to the garden room for brunch um and then they have other surprises from there the way i'm cutting people off right now i am so sorry um so yeah there's a 15 minute grace period maya's there already because maya be on time <laughs> maya be early actually okay so maya's there already ebony should be pulling up shortly so she'll be within the 15 minute grace period i'm gonna I'm be five minutes outside of that and like i said i'm trying to make it through traffic because the traffic is adding time but i am so for real like one in order to change any bad habit first step is awareness right i am very aware that i do not manage time well when it comes to me Getting the kids to school, oh, the, the kids gonna be on, they, they gonna be on time. 
they get into school on time okay uh getting them to their different activity activities and rehearsals and things they be on time but when it come to my stuff girl i just do not give myself enough time especially because i don't consider the fact uh that filming adds time to things like sure i can get ready within two hours but now i'm filming i really need to stop acting as if i can film and still get ready within those two hours i have proven that i cannot <laughs> so i have to come up with a system that helps me become more on time because girl 21 and and tardy still wasn't cute but a little bit more acceptable 25 and tardy a little acceptable 35 and tardy is not it's just not cute it's just not cute at all and i'm going to feel even worse if they cancel our reservation because i'm late i know i'm celebrating me or we're celebrating me that really does not matter because of how it affects everybody else so I'm really trying to get there, y'all. For dealing with the bird's nest that y'all saw earlier, I feel like I pulled it together. I'm still debating on whether I like this lash or not because there's something about it that feels like it might be too long for my eye. <sighs> so, I don't know. I have eyelash glue with me. So if I can get my hands on a little scissor, I might just pluck them off and cut the outside just a little bit because I feel like they might just be too long. Anywho, let's see if I can make it to this thing and I don't cause no other disruptions. Lord have mercy. I'll see y'all when we get there. Oh Lord, they texting me now. In Isaiah 58, 11, the Lord will guide you always. He will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land and will strengthen your frame. You will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. See, quitting before God say stop, don't ease frustration. It compounds frustration. When I say I'm looking for more, it's what we're looking for from God. Today, the question is, is this what God is looking for from you? Maybe you think you don't have any more to give. You washing your nets and God's like, Happy birthday to both of you. One, two, three. Okay. Maya, happy earrings. Looks so cute. Thank you, Maya. Those look good. Say hi, Ebony. I said, don't put me. There she is. And God's like, I'm looking for more because I know there's more on the inside of you because you don't know more is in you until somebody outside of you puts a demand on you. And in this season, God's saying, I know you feel like washing your nets. But in this seek season, you're not just seeking more from me. I'm seeking more from you because I know more in you. How much more can I take? More. More. He will never make a demand where he has not made a deposit. 